Well, I wasn't planning on talking about this, but we have some bad women news. Hello, everyone. I am Mecha Random 42. Oh, it's late. The one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. Relic of the 1980s, apparently. You know what? That's fine. There's nothing wrong with being a relic of the 1980s because we had the good stuff like Showbiz Pizza and the Goonies and the Lost Boys and all the stuff that I really, really loved in the 1980s. You know what we didn't have? Woke Batwomans. We have an update on why Ruby Rose left the CW. It was says the back injury, the cough cough, and all that stuff weighed in on her decision to leave the show. Which we kind of figured, didn't we? Because we figured she was being very, um, oh, oh, oh how, what's the word? A diplomatic. Very diplomatic when she left. We figured that the studio was being very diplomatic. And it still seems like she's being a little more diplomatic here. Still, she's not just trashing them. Former Batwam and star Ruby Rose has opened up about her decision to step down from the role as Kay Kane in the CW Arrowverse series. Again, even though she already did when she left. Being the lead of a superhero show is tough. And she laughs. Being the lead in anything is tough, she told EW. Ew. But I think in that particular instance, it was a lot more difficult because I was still recovering from my surgery. I had my surgery and then 10 days later I went to work, which maybe wasn't the best idea. Most people take about a month or three off before they return to work. So it was definitely made more difficult by that. But as far as being the lead of a show or film, regardless of its action or if it's emotional, in whichever way it's taxing. So basically she didn't want to work so hard. She didn't want to work so much. Long hours. It's very draining. We, I, I get it. I get it. If you're working 10 to 12 hours a day every day and your whole entire entire diet just consists of, what, a packet of Tic Tacs or something? I don't, I don't know. What do vegans eat? They don't eat, like, burgers and cheese or anything like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I can't imagine her having a whole lot of physical ability to do a lot of that stuff, to, to have the caloric intake, to need to be able to do the stunts. But, you know, that's just me speculating. In September, Rose revealed she was nearly paralyzed after suffering a stunt injury, which left her with two herniated discs and it nearly severed her spinal cord. However, there was more behind her decision to leave Batwoman. See, remember the episode of Babylon 5, right? This is why I'm reminded of this. Remember the episode of Babylon 5 where he puts everybody on special diets? Ivanova has her foot injury right after getting into it with the... Uh, was it the Drazi? I want to say it was the Drazi. So Ivanova has a foot injury and she's kind of... She, she needs a cane to walk around on because I guess they stomped her foot accidentally or on purpose or whatever. And then Garibaldi, I guess, had to trim down. Did he have to trim down? Why, why did he? There, there was three of them that had the diet and the meal plans, right? And then you had Captain Sheridan who could, like, just lose a few. Or was it Garibaldi? Anyway, his preferred choice was pasta. He wanted to eat pasta. Ivanova liked to eat a lot of leafy greens. And Sheridan liked to eat red meat. So, so what happened? They all ended up being on these meal plans to kind of help them be a little healthier. Ivana was on a meal plan to help heal more. And this is somebody who went from eating very leafy greens like spinach salads all the time. And she, she even bragged and she, right, rightly so, she says, I don't have a fat, an ounce of fat on my body. I will gain weight if I eat nothing but pasta. But the idea behind her having this diet of pasta, right, was so that she could heal a little faster. She would have a little bit more nutrient, a little bit more, a, a little bit more food to help her, help her along, help her sustain and heal faster, right? Was it the pasta or was it the meat? You guys will remember in chat more. Also, can we get shadow emojis in chat? We're doing this live, by the way. We're on a Babylon 5 tangent, but this is the only reason why I bring her diet into it because I've been in a real Babylon 5 mood lately and I really, really want to go back and rewatch this episode. The point was, when Dr. Franklin finally saw these three main characters together and they had all decided to eat what they normally eat, he frowned upon it and then they all had to basically switch out their plates and eat, you know, what the other preferred because it was better for their diet, it was better for their health, it was better for their well-being. So I can imagine that somebody who wants to not only stay model thin and stick to a certain specific diet is not going to give her the nutrients to where she can actually 
heal up quick enough and be able to do a lot of that. So that's just me speculating and adding my two cents into this. It wasn't so much the injury, especially because after we wrapped, we didn't get to finish the real finality because finale because of the cough cough, she added. You know, you have time in quarantine and sort of isolation just to think about a lot of different things and what you want to achieve in life and what you want to do. I think from both me and the producers, it was a great opportunity to have a dialogue about a lot of things. I respect them so much, and they've been so respectful to me. In light of Rose's exit season two of Batwoman, we'll see a new superhero behind the cowl in the form of Javicia Leslie, who will play Kate's successor, Ryan Wild Wilder. Another woman with a man name. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Season two kicks off with major game changer. So we already know all this and we've covered the crap out of this with basically, <laughs> basically you have a homeless woman who lives in a van by the river and talks to plants because, you know, stereotypes, I suppose. Oh, and she, she's also running some illegal substances that I won't mention here because I don't want to check the one more box. That is the Batwoman news pretty much what we said it's really just elaborating a tiny bit and am i surprised by this not really not necessarily i am going to go back to my live chat don't you guys go anywhere <laughs>